What's up you guys? This is Kefis and you are looking at my Cool Tyran Hunter Jorant. He is a level 20 because he is a brand new character. That's right, we are going to start a new leveling series for World of Warcraft, Battle for Azeroth, and I'm very excited to do this with you guys once again. We have done leveling before on this channel. We have completed old school leveling, and we have also tried a couple other times, but uh, leveling uh, for a little while there was really rough to get through. It was slow, it was just not all that exciting, and now it's a whole lot faster. <laughs> As you can see, I've already leveled up one cool Turan because this is the sweet looking armor that you get. And it's really cool. So I just wanted to do this again. Uh, I really had fun with the other hunter that we were uh, trying to level up before. But it wasn't a lot of fun. I mean, the hunter was fun. But the leveling at the time was super slow and just not all that exciting. So we're going to do it again. This time with someone even cooler. A cool Turan. Which is like my new favorite race in the game. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is... Because the uh, cool Turans do have a starter pet. It's a bird. But I'm not a big fan of uh, of pet birds for, you know, for a hunter. So we're going to actually change that up. We're going to go ahead and just dismiss him. And since we just so happen to be here in Elwyn Forest, I'm going to be hunting a bear and we can tame him. Got to watch out for these uh, wolves running around since I actually dismissed my pet. All right, look at that. Just so happens to be a young forest bear right there now. Let me see if I have the ability ready. I do not. Hang on. Let's get the tame pet ability somewhere. There it is. Uh-oh, I'm being attacked by a wolf. Not looking good. Okay, I'm going to put that there uh, and kill this wolf real quick. Uh, yeah, so I can, I can actually... Okay, cool. So as you can see, my text is green. <laughs> I'm using uh, Dire Beast as well, which is kind of fun. So we're going to see pets all over the place. My text, my pet text is green for his name, which means that we are PvP enabled because you get more XP that way. And uh, there's a good chance we're probably not going to see any PvP. But if we do, hey, it's exciting. So where the heck did that bear go? That's another prowler. We don't want to deal with him. And we want to find that bear. Somewhere around here is a darn bear. Get away from me, wolf. I don't want to deal with you again. There's the bear. Okay, so all we got to do is walk up and tame pet yeah there we go we're gonna get us a nice tanking pet keep keep crap off of us so there we go we got a bear let's go ahead and name him i'm gonna give him my my personal favorite name eh well if i can click on it excuse me technical difficulties blind guy at the wheel so that's not what you want so we're gonna name him ruxpin because that's his that's the name we like all right so there's i like the name ruxpin it's always been my pet name goofy but all right so let's make sure that he is under the right spec yes tenacity that's what we want okay so we are level 20 and i'm right now for now i'm going to follow the aap azeroth autopilot uh directions but we can always change that if you guys want if you want me to level up in a specific zone let me know in the comments below also i like to do voting when i do these this series it's a lot of fun so for today we're going to be leveling up in uh, beast mastery mode, but I am more than happy to change that uh, if you guys want. Why is my? Hang on a second. Oh, oh no, there it goes. Okay, never mind. We're good. Um, yeah, we can change that up. If you guys want me to level up in marksman and survival rather than beast mastery, I will put a straw poll up in the description below, and after this video, I will pick the spec that gets the most votes. So you can vote on which spec. I level up in, I can do any of them, but personally, I would encourage you to pick one. Whoa, you coming, buddy? You, you, you good? You all right? You coming? Did, you gotta use the bathroom? Okay, I'm just gonna, um, oh, okay, there you go. He, he, he was, he was deep in thought, I think. Okay, so, um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Hopefully we'll do one with a pet because as you can see pets seem to make things a lot more fun All right, so but either way I've got uh, I've got all the heirlooms. We need I'm gonna pick up quests here. This is Red Ridge. It's a weird zone Some people like it some people don't I don't mind it too much There are a couple of annoying quests, but uh, we'll get through it. It'll be a lot of fun now We're gonna go up the winding staircase like we're in Hogwarts and get all these quests and yeah, it, so I'm I, I, this time I'm playing on my home server Earthen Ring Alliance side, and what's interesting? Well, 
I didn't mean to do that, but we gotta kill it anyways. Oh crap, it's evading me now. Hang on. Hang on, bird. Oh, are you up here now? Can we... Can we... Well... Well... Hang on. Okay, we'll just go down and fight him. Wow. All kinds of fun today, huh? Okay, there we go. Come on. Yeah, I gotcha. You're dead. Dead bird. Gotta kill him anyways. So yeah, um, we're on an RP server. And I was always wondering why on this server, it's a relatively small pop server these days, uh, Earthen Ring. On top of that, it's RP, so there aren't a lot of cross-realm zones. If you ever want to play on a light server, like with not a lot of cross-realm happening, it can still happen, but it doesn't. I don't think it happens as much because it just so happens to be an RP server. So I, I'm pretty sure that's why uh, it's a pretty, pretty quiet server. You don't have a lot of people in the way, which is nice at times, and also at other times not so nice because like... For example, if you're out trying to do uh, Legion invasion stuff to level up, like when I was doing that on Dalaran for a while, when I was playing on Dalaran, I had there were people there doing it all the time. And nowadays, it's like when I go there, I'm the only person in Legion area, and I can't do some of those quests by myself. But as a hunter, though, we just might be able to pull it off. We'll have to see. But for now, as you can see, we are just mowing our way through these these pesky pesky knolls so yeah all right so yeah so i've been having fun with wow again i took a little bit of a break um because a couple of things number one my microphone died which is never fun especially when you like to make youtube videos of you playing video games and or whatever or just talking you know people's legs off like i tend to do um so that that kind of put youtube on hold for a little bit and on top of that i just um you know, I just wasn't having a lot of fun with the game for a while. I really haven't gotten too into the end game uh, outside of like world quests and unlocking allied races, which has been a lot of fun. I kind of like that kind of thing. So I took a little bit of a break. You know, and I made I made a couple critique videos about just the social aspect of WoW, just my general thoughts on the weaknesses of BFA. Um, I, I, I have no problem giving my honest opinion. I don't like to be too negative. I think sometimes if we're not careful, we can just start to echo chamber our negativities, you know, and just like go to the subreddit where, where there was a lot of complaining going on for a while, you know, and I wanted to make a couple videos giving my honest opinion, but I didn't want to get too, uh, you know, too deep into the complaining. So I decided to take a break for a while, maybe, you know, just play some of the games and see what else was out there. And I've been having a lot of fun playing all kinds of stuff, which you're going to probably start seeing more other games showing up uh, of me playing as well, because it's fun to do. Uh, but, you know, it just kind of felt like when the Allied Races came out with the Cool Terrans and the, um, you know, the, the Trolls, I thought maybe it would be a good time to come back and check that kind of stuff out, because I'm always down for those types of, that type of content. It's, it, it really speaks to me. I like unlocking things. I like, because it's, it's one of the few things in the game that you can actually work towards and you know that you can get it by doing a set number of things. So, like, if that makes any sense, like, it's not random. It's, you know, you do these tasks, you unlock this. I kind of like that kind of thing. Um, that's why I don't mind Pathfinder so much, because I actually, I like that sense of progression uh, and, and that sense of, like, unlocking things with, with ease. So, um, so that's why I... I, I kind of, you know, I really like that kind of content. Even though I know a lot of people don't really enjoy that kind of content, but I do. I think that's also why I like leveling because it's it's really straightforward in the sense in in terms of progression. Like, you know, you you have to get this many levels. You go to this area. You go to the next area. You get XP. It's it's really straightforward. There isn't a lot of randomness to it. Um, not that all randomness is bad by any means. I think a little bit of randomness is fine. Um, but like, it's just a pretty pretty straightforward sense of progression and I think I, I like that kind of thing I like unlocking stuff I like earning things by doing tasks you know like it's just it's just the way I prefer my content so when when they when they added those you know new allied races and because I had already locked unlocked all the other ones um, I really wanted to come back and then I started to look at the cool Terrans and I was like these guys are pretty cool they have cool armor they look awesome I want to play one <laughs> and next thing you know I've like leveled up two now so, uh, yeah, and this is my third one. So it's, it's pretty insane. And leveling, oh my gosh, is so fast now. It's crazy. And so, like, it just was a good opportunity. And, and hopefully, you know, uh, maybe uh, as I keep playing, I do a little bit of, like, I love the Legion invasions. Those are rad. Um, I like doing those a lot. Um, they're really they're really interesting. Uh, or not Legion invasions. I like those, too. 
but the uh, the BFA like faction invasions or whatever are really cool. So I like that kind of stuff. Um, I like I like getting into that. You know, it's it's really fun. But uh, and then you know just like the the e like leveling leveling up or in gearing up is a lot easier nowadays. It's and like the AP isn't. Like, I still don't really care to do AP grinding, but at least uh, it's a lot easier to get now, uh, which probably sucks for people that grinded hard in the first place, but, you know, for lazy people like me who, aren't, who really weren't into it, it's it's whatever now. I don't, it's, I still don't feel motivated to go for AP that much. Like, I just, like, whenever I see, like, emissaries, I'm like, ooh, gold, ooh, gear, ooh, AP, I don't care about that one. <laughs> and I probably should if I really cared about progression, but, you know, it's, it's weird. It just doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't strike the right chords with me, so I just I haven't gotten into it. I think that's a big part of why uh, BFA just has not kept me hooked as much, uh, at least in terms of the end game. But besides all that, like you know, beat a dead horse complaining about AP. Um, overall, I'm still having fun with WoW. Like it's not it's not as terrible as like a lot of people make it out to be, in my opinion. Like I mean, to each their own. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. It's all relatively subjective but I don't think it's absolutely terrible obviously not because I'm playing it um, there's a lot of fun to be had here there's a lot of like you just you know think there's a lot of cool things to do like some of the new world quests were really cool and just like leveling up characters is always like I, I don't know I, I for me it's fun to level up characters um, you know, like, it's just something I like to do. I don't know why. It's just something I always... Like, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said earlier, it's straightforward. It's like, now that I have, like, now that I'm... I don't live alone, I have a, I have a wife and stuff like that. Like, it's easy to, to level up a character uh, and not really pay much attention to what I'm doing. And then, like, pay more attention to, like, you know, having conversations with her or whatever the heck else is going on in the house. Like, uh, it's pretty easy to just kind of passively play. Which is, you know... Good and bad. I'm not saying that every game should be that way. I think, like, immersion is also important. But uh, it is nice to have a game like this that just doesn't really, you know, get old to me. Like, I, I guess when I say I took a break, you know, I, that's more old term, like, old mindset for me. Because, like, I used to play this game so exclusively. Like, it was, like, my only game. And look at that. We're already leveled up to 21. Uh, it was my only game. Like, I didn't play anything else besides WoW for, like, many years. I remember... What you doing, pet? Um, I remember for the longest time, like, I did not play any new games that came out, like, back in, like, the early 2000s or late 2000s. And the first time I took a break from WoW was to play um, Mario Galaxy, which is weird to think about because, like, there's a lot of good games that came out back then. But I took a break to play Mario Galaxy, and I loved it, and then I just went right back to playing WoW for a long time. And it wasn't until, like, you know... Like the twenty, like a little bit late in the mop, and and from then on, I started to take more and more breaks, and then play other games, and started to realize that there were so many other cool games out there to play. And uh, you know, nowadays it's like I don't really, I guess I should, I don't really think of them as breaks anymore. Like, like I WoW is just another game that I like to play, and like it's like Minecraft. Like every now and then I'll go back and play Minecraft for a while, and that's kind of how WoW is now. It's not my one game. It's not like my prime game. I like to play a lot of games. Um, I, I happen to have a very wide net of games that I enjoy to play, which I actually enjoy a lot more, even though like I do miss the old days of like having a core group of friends that I played WoW with. We're going to straight up kill this rare because he gives us the pet that we might be able to sell. Um, like I miss having the, the old routine and a raid team and like getting into that kind of stuff. It was a lot of fun and like, you know, that's all cool. But at the same time, there's a part of me that's like, I kind of like the freedom to just play whatever I want whenever I want and enjoy all kinds of games. Because, like, there are so many cool games to play these days. Uh, well, well, there always has been, you know? Like, so I don't know if I ever want to get hooked on one game for a long time. Like, a lot of people say, I, I miss that having that one game. I wish there was another WoW. And it's like, that's cool for a lot of people because I know a lot of people that are into WoW like, aren't really into other games. Like, like there are a lot of people that are, like, WoW fans that play lots of WoW that aren't quote-unquote great gamers. By that, I mean people that would play other games and enjoy them. Like, they're just exclusively into WoW. We're going to go ahead and do this pet battle because it's, like, easy XP. Um, 
But, like, for me, I've always been a gamer. I've been playing video games long before WoW. I'll be playing video games long after WoW. And, like, you know, so it's nice to enjoy some other stuff. And so, I'm not even, like, using the right types here. It's just whatever. <laughs> um, so, you know, having said that, like, it's just nice that WoW's still here. Like, I like that I can come back to it and have fun. And, and like, and it does, it does good. Like, honestly, if you're... Like really burn out, or you just feel like the game is just oh not 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 fun at all. Look at him; he's gonna use his little his little trick to dodge my attack, and he'll probably dodge the nuke bomb that I just I'm gonna throw down on him. Uh, nope, <laughs> that worked out perfectly actually. Um, like if you if you get bored with the game, seriously, like not to tell you what to do with your life, but man, you know, for what's worth, take a break. You might come back and find out that the game isn't is is a lot more fun. Uh, after you've taken a little bit of a break from it, it feels a little bit more fresh. Like that's how it is with me. Um, and so, like I've been, I've been playing it for a, a couple weeks now, just getting back into it, redoing my UI, as you can see, uh, trying to make it more appealing to the eyes, um, or eye in my case, because I only have one that actually works. And so, like if you see me, I keep uh, doing this with the mini map. It's really cool. It's just a map extension, like lets me expand the mini map through Chinchilla, and it's easy for me to like look at where I need to go without like having to look up the top left, top right corner. So I'll be doing that a lot. I hope it doesn't annoy you. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really helpful for me as a visually impaired player. And I've also got my action bars hidden unless I mouse over, just because I've come to realize I don't look at them very often, and when I do, it's a look at a tooltip, which means I have to move my mouse over anyways. So it's like, why even show them in the first place? So I have them hidden. Um, and it just gives me so much more screen screen space and like makes the game look a lot nicer. So like, I just, I don't know, it's just something fun I like to do. I weirdly enjoy doing that. Like, I think I spent like, like, like several hours the other night uh, messing with my UI and my wife was like, you still doing that? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> moving things, rearranging things, just like kept, just kept doing stuff. Like, and I'm not saying I perfect, I haven't perfected it yet. I don't think I ever will, but it's a lot of fun. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button and feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.